What's up, y'all? It's your boy T Thizzle just saying hi to the seasoned and glazed sizzles as I'm getting ready to bring you all. Yes, you already know the deal. Another season calm. This time, we're not gonna throw it in the oven, we're just gonna let it sit in the crock pot for about let's say five minutes or so just enough to get it like thoroughly cooked but we're not gonna cook it all the way through so first of all if you all haven't seen my first video on this topic i'm about to get into reasons to start youtube i recommend that you check that out in the first video i talked about reasons why someone should be motivated to start youtube and this video i'm gonna go ahead and attack the flip side reasons or motives that should not drive any person to start a YouTube channel. Now, first of all, I cannot stress this one enough. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with probably the top ones and just go ahead and go down to the more smaller reasons. But the first one, I can't stress this enough, is wanting to get money. Now, I, I can say this all day and all night, but unless you have a video that just happens to go viral crazy rapidly get views the chances of one getting youtube money fast in the game is not likely it takes even some of the really good youtubers that i know in the smaller community we're all relatively new we're not even making the big bucks i mean it depends on how much if you send maybe five dollars or so then yeah of course you think that's a lot of money then go ahead and start it up but if you are talking about actually something you can live off of youtube money should not be the motive because we all start off or at least most of us start off because we just have a passion for it as i discussed before and as a result of us putting in the work on our youtube channel that gets us notoriety sometimes we end up getting money off of it but money alone should not be a motive hopefully you all don't hear the sirens in the background we got the popos of feds coming through but anyway second reason is talking trash with average content do not create a channel just to talk trash on somebody with this exception now like i said before i know channels that do go hard and go in on other youtubers who normally attack them first but sometimes they go in on them anyway even if they haven't attacked them but if you do decide to create a channel where you bash other people please do not be one of those people who starts creating that type of content against other youtubers or other people and you have average content on your channel you better make sure your stuff is flawless and on point so that if you talk about somebody else when they go back to your channel and look at your stuff they'd be like oh okay uh i really can't come back on this dude because this dude's stuff is straight if your channel looking like boo boo and you talking trash and then they come to your channel and see how trash and garbage your channel is don't expect to get any love back third reason this is going to be my final reason actually i got one more after this expect people to support you if you're supporting them now when you get on youtube a lot of times you'll find out it's more than just about uploading videos it's about actually creating a structure having a community a, a foundation you're gonna grow your fan base if you start to succeed and mess with other youtubers when i say mess i'm not saying mess as in be negative to them i'm saying mess with them as a slang as in vibe with their channels check them out give them feedback as well now like i said once again with the exception of a video going viral if you just go viral you become popular super fast you're probably not gonna need to really interact with other i take that back even as you become a big youtuber there's always room for collaboration and always room for getting involved in the community so no matter if you're small or big get involved with the community it makes the experience a lot much more fun when you actually have conversations and you interact with your subscribers interact with people that aren't subscribers trying to find other channels so that you can improve your channel and stuff like that stuff of that sort final reason i'm gonna go ahead and throw off is this is kind of similar to the first reason about wanting to get money and notoriety is 
don't expect to become YouTube famous coming into this. Now, don't get me wrong. We all have that dream. We all have that dream as a as of when we're a kid. I want to be a I want to be a professional basketball player. I want to be a professional football player. I want to be the president of America. We all have those big dreams that we just want to tackle. And don't get me wrong, it is possible because who's in the, <laughs> I'm not going to even go there, but we know who's in the White House right now. We know how many professional basketball, football, any type of professional athletes, crazy careers that people came up from nothing. So it is very possible for you to become YouTube famous, you, but you have to put in the work. But what I'm saying is, once again, this is like the third time I said this, unless you have a channel or a video that just goes completely viral, that process is not a fast process. It doesn't happen overnight. It's something that you have to work towards. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this calm. Hopefully it didn't run for too long. This is me and boy T-Dizzle 88. This is a little bit overcooked past the five minutes I said. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you, make sure you like and subscribe and peace.